Hey there, I'm in San Davery. Today I'd like to catalog some early art of mine that I'll be getting rid of either because it's kind of inconvenient to keep around without a place to put it or it's just very large or delicate. Um, so I wanted to document these and share them before moving them on. The first thing we have is this little wire sculpture. It, as you can probably tell, it's a sea dragon. I made it when I was a kid. I don't know how old, but young enough that my family went to those homeschooling conventions. I really like the button that I used for the eye. I always thought that's really cool. But it does have a lot of wires sticking out of it that makes it uncomfortable to hold. It's time for me to get rid of this one. I'm not certain when I made this puppet. So you can see it's a cat, which for a time was my favorite animal. And it is purple, which is my favorite color still. I like that I painted on the shading on these little paws. The face was a valiant attempt. It's a little scary. It's made with some sort of paper clay that got a little beat up. This is pretty cool, but it's also kind of scary and I don't want to keep it around anymore. Most of the rest of these are very big and most of them come from community college art classes that I, that I took when I was 16 through 18 years old. So this is a portrait of a model. I'm sure it was a live drawing. I have no idea how long it took me. I haven't done any sort of large or charcoal drawings like this since I took these classes. So I don't know what it would look like if I did it now. So looking at this, this is pretty cool to me. This is an abstract piece from color theory class. Um, obviously my base color was purple. I don't remember my color theory. Complementary color scheme going on here with the yellow, but I'm not sure how these greens and blues got there. I still really love all these purple colors though. Purple is still my favorite color. These are a piece of modular art. I think these were also from color theory. So the idea is that you can put them up on the wall in any configuration. There was a fifth piece when I made these, uh, but it's been lost to time. This I think is also a split complementary because you've got purple as the main color, obviously, and then green and orange. And I remember when I drew this, I did not use a reference. I only have had a vague visualization of how the head worked and where the hair came out. But I do still think this shading is really cool. I used three colors of colored pencil for this and just blended the shit out of it. And I went through a lot of colored pencils to make these the five panels. Oh, I got an A on this. This is a collage. Probably the only collage I had made at this point. I made it at a summer camp that I was a teenage counselor at. It's made with like magazines and stuff. I still really like this picture along the bottom here. It reminds me of that like series of photographs of 90s teens in their rooms, except it's 2000s teens fashion. There's a chance I won't get rid of this. This might just end up either on my wall or stored as collage. This is obviously a still life of cowboy boots apple and a satin ribbon. The drawing teacher set this up and I believe we were supposed to contemplate masculinity and femininity while drawing these. They're like I think three still life setups and rotated between them. I remember at the time being told that I was overly reliant on line work and I do think that's true. This is from that same series of still lifes. It's a sort of fedora hat a sheer sun hat and some lilies. I remember being really proud of the rendering on the sheer hat. This is a superhero I made that was on the banner for my AYSO soccer team. Team name was Kazan. It was probably one of the best soccer teams I was ever on. We made it really far at the end of season championship. I feel like I can see some definite progress in the face and anatomy. This is a banner with a dragon on it. This was made for that same summer camp I did the collage for as a counselor. I really like the sh colors. I like the color purple I chose. I really like this shading on the belly plates. I can tell 
that I was really trying not to rely on line, but I didn't understand what, quite understand what was supposed to replace it. And looking at this now, I see that I really wasn't understanding the contrast of values part of composition. I really like this texture that I did. And I think there was a valiant attempt made to shade, especially without black. This is a figure drawing done in graphite. I think this hair is better than I render now. This was pretty wonky, but other than that, yeah, I feel like this was one of the, not maybe not the final assignment, but I feel like this was towards the end of the semester. And then also on the back here, we have some skeletons with a horizon line. I feel like the horizon line is something that at the time I didn't really get, but I tried. And I think this is my favorite one I've ever done in a community college art class. This was painted with like a wooden dowel, and it was a series of poses. Uh, I believe we were supposed to concentrate on sort of the movement between the poses. And I still really like this one. I think this is probably the coolest one I did. This is the final for the class I was just talking about. I don't know how long this took, but it was like multiple three-hour sessions. Incidentally, that's like the main thing that stopped me from pursuing an art major was I couldn't sit still for three hours. Um, there was a lot of rendering there that I... I think that's better than I could do now. That's really cool. Um, I also have the answers to what I think is the final test back here. One, the halfway point of the body is the synthesis cubis. Two, always draw the center line. Three, the center line has topography. Four, do not over center the center line. Five, silhouette has overlaps. Six, no concavities. Seven, no neutral curves. Eight, no tangents. I also remember we had a face-to-face -face discussion with the professor at the end of the, this class, like everyone talked to him, and I do remember him saying that he felt like I could actually get somewhere if I pursued art. This is a figure drawing. I don't think it was for the figure drawing class. I think this was for like a mixed media class. It was basically an excuse to try a lot of different mediums. This was chalk pastel. I think the rendering here is pretty cool. I really like that sort of the rendering is in this like reds and oranges and then the backgrounds and the greens. And I think doing figure drawing with un unnatural colors is really fun and I wish I did more of it. Here are two models in charcoal. I remember being really proud of this rendering. And I also remember thinking that this model was really cute to the point that it was kind of embarrassed. I was also a shy kid in general. Here's two more on the other side. I guess I was running out of paper. This model here is the same as that model there. Here is another still life piece. This was from the same class as the masculine and feminine still lifes were. This is obviously supposed to be contemplating the, um, the contrast between the sharp objects and the deflated beach balloons. And then here, Similar to that other one on the toned paper drawn with a stick that I was really proud of, I believe this was also drawn on a stick, but this was drawn on glass, glossy black paper. I think there's another figure over here that made me a gesture drawing by covering the glossy black paper and paint and then scraping into it with the wooden stick. So this was a abstract still life. I think it was like a piece of like fabric or something coming out of a cup but we were supposed to like make it abstract. And then that, if I'm remembering correctly, was converted to this. I could be misremembering. Um, this was obviously drawn without reference. It must have been one that I did at home. The use of the white highlight is, I think, well used on these figures, not so much on this other figure here. This is obviously a pretty early on piece in one of the classes, just working on shadows on geometric shapes. Lastly, one of like my favorites I drew. It's a ram's head. This was near the end of one of the classes, like one of the finals type drawings. Thought it turned out really well then. I still think it looks really sick. I really like this rendering along the horn. I think that's well done. All right. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Bye. are all stuck with it together with like the really old tape I'd stuck them to my wall with.
Don't put tape on anything you want to have for over a decade. It's the moral of this video if you take one thing away. I just need that other one back. 